So here we are at PRGE 2022 at the Atari, huge, impressive Atari Age booth with Albert Yeruso. Thank you so much for You're welcome. joining us here. No, thank you. <laughs> exactly. I'm joining you here. Yeah, well, Here's thank the... you for coming here and helping promote everything. And oh, no talking problem. Talking all the authors and looking yeah. at all the games. Yeah, it's been really fun talking with all the developers. It's kind of a, a big uh, gathering point because it's been so long. Oh, I know. There's so much pent up energy. <laughs> That's right. And so People... many games have been released in the last three years. With they didn't show up here. None of these games are here in 2020, 2021. Yes. So we've got three years worth of releases here, and a ton of homebrew authors came, as you know, from all over the world. Yeah. So it's, it's and you have incredible. quite a setup this year. With yeah, I know. So many consoles, so many monitors because. Yeah of the years that have been missed. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. There's over 40 systems here. Uh, oh my God. All, and most, most of the systems are connected to CRTs, heavy CRTs, yeah. you know, mostly Commodore 1702s. Great monitor. Uh, yeah, so we really just condensed you know, as many systems as we can get in here, and as many, you know, made over 1,200 games for the show. Oh my uh, God. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. And yesterday, as you saw, it was mayhem. It, it was uh, a yeah. lot of people and a yeah. lot of mayhem. Yeah. And you... But it's great, it's, a, it's good mayhem. It yeah. is. People are really excited yeah. for all the huge releases yep. this year that you have, like massive ones like Load Runner and yeah. Attack of the Petsky Robots yeah. and a lot of... How many new releases this year? 25. That's yeah. a lot of work. It is. I know. It's in, <laughs> and amazing. You know, there's always a lot of games for the 2600. Yes. Uh, but this year, the 7800 really came to its own because yeah. there's so many new games that have come out, so many games in development. I, I, I brought seven or eight 7800 systems, I need, and which is twice as many as I've had in the past. I need yeah. more. You know, yeah, I need, you have I like need, cartridges to the side and yeah. you have to swap them out. I know, to... exactly, yeah. And, <laughs> and in the past, I had to do that with 2600 systems. But I've got so many 2600 systems, I haven't had to, had to do that. Yeah. I mean, there's easily, you know, the 2600 by far are the, are the bulk of the systems. Like half of the booth is 2600, yeah. and then 7800, 5200, Atari 8 computers, and Jaguar are on the other half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But really, I need to, I need to double the number of 7800s <laughs> I have. There's been a lot of development in yeah. all of those areas. It's, yeah. it's amazing after all this year, there's so much development it's just increasing and increasing yeah i mean you would think after 20 years <laughs> you know you might have hit the peak but it's still going up it, uh there's yeah. just so much activity on the forums development activity always new people posting hey here's a you know first look at my new game that i'm doing for the 2600 or 700 or whatever yeah uh yeah and you know i've got people approaching me hey can you show this off at prg and, yes. and even you know within the last week before the show i'm still making you know adding more games to the lineup and so, not only the new games here, there's demos of upcoming yeah. games as well. Yeah, absolutely. And and those games, maybe they'll come out soon, but, it's, but it could be years for some of them before they actually come out. Yeah, some so, of them have long development times because yeah. they're pretty extensive games, some of them. Like, there's yeah. RPGs that are being made on yeah. the 2600. Yeah, Penult, for instance. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got EXO on the 7800, which is a 512K game. It uses additional RAM, and it uses the, the Pokey as well. And yeah. that's an extremely aggressive game. There's uh, lots of, like, hardware and advancements in the cartridges yeah. and even like for Attack of the Petsky Robots, an adapter now yeah. for SNES. Yep, yeah, since that came out originally in the Commodore computers, which is keyboards, yeah. uh, translating that to a console with two buttons and, yeah. a, and a pause and a select and reset switch. I mean, uh, you only it's need very one challenging. button, right? Exactly. For 26, no. No, yeah. 700, yeah, it has the two, but it's not enough. So yeah. with the SNES adapter, which is included with the game, you get the shoulder buttons, you get the select star, and then the four uh, buttons yeah. in addition to the D-pad, which, yeah. you know, it's still fewer than obviously a keyboard, but the keyboard, yeah. but it still makes it workable, a lot easier to play. But you can also use twin ProLine sticks, yeah. uh, and you can use uh, ProLine, I think it, there's other options. You know, of course, just one ProLine, but you, yeah. know, it's, it, you have to make sacrifices there to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's nice that uh, the developers uh, built that in so you could, uh, you don't have to have the SNES Correct. controller, but it just yeah. makes life much easier. So that's what we should have done. In addition <laughs> to including the adapter, we yeah. should have included an SNES controller. Oh, yeah. I, actually, I should make that, I, should, I need to find some like third-party ones, because obviously I'm not going to get a lot of brand you know, original controllers, but they're third yeah. party ones that could add that as an option for people. And, it, and it's good they chose that one. It's very, very common. There's yeah. tons of them. So probably, you know, an enthusiast would even have like a bunch of them lying around their house. I know I have, exactly, I have a yes, bunch yes. already. So it's smart. It's a smart choice to go to the SNES and, Yeah, adapter. And if you don't have one, like you said, they're common, they're pretty inexpensive, and they're yeah. new third party ones as well you can get. Oh, yeah. So, you don't have yeah. to hunt for an old one. Correct. Yeah. Oh, and, that's what I would do. You know, get the original <laughs> controller. They always oh, seem to be better than the third party. Oh, yeah. Ones. There are exceptions, of and course. Nice that, and but, worn in as well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, so you have a lot of de developers here yes. that came to the show. And um, how's the reaction been from the crowd? Like they can stand near the next to the developer and uh, ask them questions. Was it a, a calculated thing or was it more of like, 
this is like after three years, it's been uh, everybody's waiting for PRGE to show off their games, and yeah, we have developers from all over the world yeah. that's come. Yeah, I mean, I think it's all of that, really. It's yeah, you know, the, the pent up demand over three years. Uh, you know, nobody's been able to come to the show at all, of course. Yeah. Uh, so you know, developers who might have been here previously, like if some, when some of these other yeah. games are released, you know, had to wait until 2022. That's right. And they made their games possibly two years exactly. ago. Exactly, and some and they, of that may have had release games in each of those years even or you know in yeah, a couple of, yeah a couple yeah, exactly because there's some developers here that like have two or even three games Correct. that were been display. released over that time exactly yeah uh, but i think the you know for the developers coming to a show like this seeing your game yeah uh at a big event where you know ten thousand people or more can come through the doors over the period of two days yeah and you know watching people play your games uh you know yeah. interact you know to see you know how they react to them and then you know, being able to talk to the, you know, the, or you know, by vice versa, you know, the, the people playing the games get to talk to the developer, which is exciting, yeah. and the developer, of course, gets to talk with fans of their games. So it's a unique so. experience they really can't get anywhere else. Sure. That, that direct interaction, seeing somebody who's never played their game before pick up and play it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And so there is the social aspect of it, too. You know, yeah. the, the, you know people who come regularly to the shows, you know, yeah. haven't been able to see people for three years. Yeah. Uh, and the show, you know, the show itself is a blast. For yeah. someone who's never been to a big event, and some of these authors have never been to something like this, especially yes. the guys coming from overseas. These oh, events seem, from Europe and, yeah, Australia. Yeah, and Australia. They may have events like this, but not typically this crazy. Yeah, uh, it's so huge. it's exciting to come to the U.S. You know, it's exciting to come to the show. I mean, meet a lot of the people I've talked with online, including yes. other developers. You yeah. Know, so developers then talk amongst themselves and you know put a face you know to, to the handles on the forum. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so it's really exciting, and it's it's always we've always had a lot of developers here, but this year especially you know, we have people from like I said Australia, U.K., Netherlands, yeah. Eastern Canada, and of course Canada, which is not far from here, all yeah. over the U.S. and other countries as well. Yeah, it feels like a real meeting place for the community of Atari Age. This is like the focal point and everybody's coming in and uh, I know I've met so many people I've never met before. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it's exciting. I know you were busy all day yesterday oh my God, doing lots, interviews with people and it's great and I can't, can't wait to see them online since obviously oh, yeah. the booth was really busy yesterday. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I basically was stuck behind the booth the whole day. I just got to watch you <laughs> talking to other people. And yeah. of course I got to talk to people but that, I'm surprised I still have my voice today. So, oh, yeah, yeah me Tomorrow, too. by oh. the end of the day, it'll be, yeah. It'll be, it's, right now it's still lower and rougher than it normally yeah. is. Yeah, so. very manly. Mm, uh, <laughs> I know. <yeah. laughs> so, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you again me. for coming. Yeah, oh, it's, I, it's great. I definitely don't want to miss. It was it was hard to not go for two years to PRGE. I know, I know, yeah. Um, but I'm so yeah. glad it's back again. Me too. And, yeah. we, you know, I didn't know what to expect in terms of attendance, but, man, it was packed. And everyone's oh, forgotten there's God. COVID. You yeah, know, and <laughs> that's just, over, right? Exactly, I know. And so everyone's here. They're, they're enjoying games. They're excited. Uh, they're shopping. They're, 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 yeah. You know, they're, they're going to the, the Tetris tournament's back here. Yeah. Uh, it's you know, like the cosplay. Happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know you would know, yeah, if you went from 2019 to 2022. Just hit pause and exactly. now it's resumed I know. again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so thanks so much. You're welcome. And, Thank you. Uh, looking great. forking forward to next year again I know. already. It's, it's, me too. And we'll have even a bigger booth next year. It Excellent. was interesting this year with the booth and where we were able to place it and you know, able to get more space. Yeah. Both. It's very impressive, actually. Yeah. All the banners for all the new games. Yeah. Uh, you always put on a really nice. Yeah, there's 20 uh, banners for, yeah. you know, and it's not just the new games. Some of the games from a couple of the previous, you know, 2020 That's and right. 2021 also. I got banners for the it. The interim uh, yeah, years, exactly. yeah. So yeah. really yeah. a lot going on in this booth. I know, it is. Yeah, right. so thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah.